when shall a mind pay for your rent hello ladies thanks for tuning in don't forget that you can join my giveaway to win two spots to join my group coaching program so that you can go from the woman who get taken for granted who isn't valued by quality men to the woman who is magnetic and who has a high self-esteem and who is valued by men i want to talk about the post that i made the other day on instagram where i talked about all the things that a man should provide for you so i said that he should pay for the bills of the house your rent and all of that and so some women left comments to say that they don't agree with me because they said that a man should pay for your rent only if you guys live together i can understand why some women might think that it doesn't make sense for a man to pay for your rent if he doesn't live there i want you to understand why i said that so you need to understand that when you date you give him girlfriend benefits and he gives you husband benefits so you date to see how it would so you date to see how it would feel like for you to marry him you see it's important for you to always stay behind but for him he should treat you as if he was his wife even when you guys aren't married yet so when he provides and he pays for your rent and all of that you know already that when you be married this is how it's gonna look like for you to be married so when he pays for your rent when you are just his girlfriend you know that okay this man treat me like his wife already so when you will be married this is gonna remain the same thing whereas when he doesn't do all of those things you don't really know what it would look like for you to marry him so you see you want to know in advance what it would look like for you to be with him for forever i rather have you get all of your bills paid when you're his girlfriend than wait later on to see how it's gonna happen once you are married i remember doing a poll the other day on instagram where i asked women if they were comfortable talking about money and all of that when they date or even you know with their friends and many women said that they were afraid to be perceived as a gold digger so i know that when you have that kind of standards where you say that you expect your rent and all of that to be paid you are you might be afraid you might be afraid to be perceived as a gold digger i rather be a gold digger than not having my bills paid when i'm an amazing partner i make sure that all his needs are met and all of that so you see you have nothing to worry about and you're not a gold digger a man who is healthy and who is masculine and who has great relationship skills he knows that he's supposed to provide he knows what it looks like for him to have a woman that he really values okay don't worry about that like the men who can't do all of that are just men who don't have enough or men who have enough but they have a broke mindset so those men aren't the men you want to date you know right that you can win two spots to join my group coaching program so here's the message that you need to put in the comment section to enter and don't forget that you can also enter by joining my mailing list so you actually double your chances when you join my mailing list so let's resume the video so i know that many women are afraid to be perceived as a gold digger but when a man says that he wants a model and he wants a Victoria's Secret model, we don't judge him for that. We just think, okay, he likes beautiful women. What I notice is like women tend to be extremely compassionate with men. Like they, they let men have the needs that they have, but they're afraid to express their own needs. They think, oh, if I express my needs and I say what my real standards are, I'm going to be judged. I'm going to be shamed. I'm going to be called a gold digger or a shallow person. But we don't call men shallow. Like we, we, don't, we don't call men like that. Like whatever they say, we, we think okay whatever he likes whatever he likes but when us women we say that we want a man who is successful um who is generous who is intelligent who is tall and now it's like we are asking for too much so i want you to be okay with your standards and actually own them because when you own them it's how you're gonna attract the man that you like i want you to own your standards they are what they are anyway and you won't change them because you know what makes you happy since you are leveling up and you are educating yourself on healthy relationships I'm assuming that you care about what truly makes the relationship more beautiful and what truly makes your life more beautiful. 